Hello everybody, Chris Prescott here with Master CDP Studios coming at you live with another Studio One tutorial. And in today's Studio One tutorial, it's going to be quick and easy, straight to the point and simple. Uh, I'm going to show you how to assign the knobs on your MIDI keyboard controller to work inside Studio One so you can adjust para uh, parameters um, on the virtual instruments, the plugins. All you see, um, as you can see, all these virtual knobs. That's that's the goal here. We want to assign our knobs on our actual MIDI keyboard controller to perform and adjust the parameters and these knobs inside the uh, virtual instruments or the effects plugins, whichever it may be that you're um, trying to adjust, whatever it is that you're working on. So it's very simple, actually. Um, you can do it one of two ways. There's this way right here on the uh, interface of the virtual instrument, the Mai Tai right here for Studio One. Um, so we'll start with the cutoff knob here. Um, the On the Mai Tai right here, as you can see, it's labeled right here, cutoff. And as you notice right here, it's displayed. So I'm moving the cutoff uh, knob right here and you can see that registering right here or let's say I wanna mess with the oscillator um, knob right here, the octave uh, knob, you can see it registered up there. You can see it displayed right here in this window and right up here in the left hand corner. All right, so, but let's stick with the cutoff knob. So let's, let's hear how it sounds. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to assign, or I'm going to assign knob one on my MIDI controller to the cutoff knob. So all you're going to do is as you can see right next to uh, the display where it shows cutoff, you can see right here, it says control one and you can see the parameters um, being adjusted. You can see me moving it around. That's because I'm actually turning the knob on my controller and it's showing you which knob you're turning. So, you know, it's control one, it says control one, it's knob one on my uh, Novation launch key uh, 25 controller. So all you're gonna do if you want to assign this specific knob to this specific parameter, you're going to hit this little icon right here. It's to assign it to that icon, uh, to that parameter. Whatever parameter you have here on the left, and whichever knob you're showing right here, that's what's going to be. A, that's what this parameter will be assigned to. That's the knob it'll be assigned to. So I already have Control One or Knob One selected, and I have the cutoff. Uh, knobs selected so watch now it's being assigned to that now knob one controls the cutoff filter in the Mai Tai instrument Let me try that one more time I'll show you cut off boom All right, so now let's say we want to mess with the delay right here. We're going to mess with the mix knob, okay? So same thing's going to happen. I'm moving knob two. I want to assign knob two to that uh, specific parameter. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to hit the indicator right here, turn that on. And now it controls the mix knob for the delay effect. So let's listen. So it's that simple to assign the knobs um, from your MIDI controller to work inside Studio One. I mean, you could do it with anything. You can do it with the effects plugins as well. Uh, let me show you that really quick. What are we going to mess with here? Let's do, let's do the equalizer. We're just going to assign that really quick and it might actually already be assigned. I might have these assigned. No, I don't all right so let's pretend we want to use knob three and i'm not going to use it in the uh the interface of the effects uh this time i'm going to rely on this this is going to be my reference right here the left hand corner so you can see i have the left uh the low frequency gain knob selected 
and I have uh, knob three. So I want knob three to do uh, to adjust the gain. So there you go. So it's that simple to adjust the, uh, or to assign, I should say, uh, knobs and faders on your uh, MIDI keyboard controller to work inside Studio One. I have a fader on here, and I could actually do the same thing. So let's see. I have the volume. As you can see, it's registering up here. And this is for the channel, for the Mai Tai channel. So then... Whoop. Oh, that's not how you do it. We are going to assign. Oh, that's not what I wanted exactly. There we go. So now you can see. So that was another way that I should have mentioned as well. You can left click whatever parameter you want to assign. And uh, whichever knob or fader you happen to be moving, it'll say assign volume to control nine. So that's the fader on my uh, launch key. So as you can see now, my fader controls the fader on the uh, Mai Tai channel. So that's how you assign the uh, knobs and faders to your uh, to work inside Studio One. Um, if this tutorial was helpful to you. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, or if there's anything else, uh, any other tutorials you'd like to see inside Studio One, let me know in the comments section. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And also, uh, another reason for this uh, tutorial today, or another announcement I want to add along to the tutorial, is uh, this past weekend, my wife and I, we went to a uh, Wines for Canines. It's a little fundraiser event that... Uh, the shelter that she works at, the animal shelter that she works at, held um, in the winery or in the wine country in Temecula, California. Uh, it was a little fundraiser event, and it was pretty cool to see that people were actually donating for the animals. Uh, someone donated twenty five hundred dollars to the shelter, and I was thinking, like, man, that would be awesome if I just had an extra twenty five hundred dollars laying around so I can donate to help out um, animals in the community or wherever. Um, so that gave me an idea and what I want to start doing soon here I got to get my PayPal set up and everything but what I want to do is when I start doing these tutorials and uh, Destiny 2 live streams or podcasts I want to put a donation link in those videos um, and I'll, I'll specifically mention that donate you know for uh, Animal Friends of the Valley, Lake Elsinore. That's the name of the shelter out here in Lake Elsinore. Um, I wanna, I'll have that in the description. And everything that gets den uh, donated, 100% of the proceeds of the donations will go to the animal shelter, uh, Animal Friends of the Valley. Or maybe I'll even start doing something where, like, if you know of a shelter um, in your area, you know, maybe like. One day I can just say, oh, this, you know, this video, uh, we're going to have a, a donation link and it's going to go for this animal shelter. It's going to go for that animal shelter. Or, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to uh, automatically uh, donate it to the local shelter here. Um, just because I know, like they mentioned at the, uh, the event on Saturday, 13,000 animals go through that shelter a year. Um, and, you know, it, it, it can get pretty crowded there at the shelters and, you know, unfortunately, not all animals have a happy ending there, or have a hap happy ending um, when it when they go through a shelter or any any shelter. You know, not all of them get adopted, and uh, the more that people can help, you know, the more chances that a lot of those animals are going to get adopted or going to have, you know, find a happy family or a loving family that's going to take care of them for the rest of their life. So that's kind of the goal here. I, I've always wanted to do something in some way to help out animals any way that I could. And now that I have, you know, Master CDP Studios, my YouTube channel, um, you know, I'm starting to put myself out there with what I can do with my studio. Um, I want to also use that to help out animals. And if that means we donate 
to the animal shelter to help those animals there and help the staff make sure that the animals are getting the care they need they need um and just you know for example the one of the things that they said was they wanted to uh develop a staff there or hire a staff that specifically works on uh animal behavior helping animals with the uh, behavioral issues and that's awesome because you know not all the animals that are going there or that get dropped off that get abandoned by coward people who uh, like to abandon their animals at night at the shelter at the little night drop you know because they're a bunch of cowards they don't want to show their faces you know they want they don't want to go inside of the shelter and say oh uh you know i just he peed on the floor and uh you know i'm too lazy to train him and uh you know i i actually looked at my animal as a materialistic possession instead of a you know a living being that actually has feelings and you know was looking for that companionship no i just want to turn that in so you know not all those animals that get turned in that way or in any way um had the best upbringing so some of them do have behavioral issues and sometimes that prevents them from getting adopted so you know maybe if they had a staff fully committed to helping those animals maybe that just means more animals are going to get adopted and if that's what it takes and if it takes me to donate to help you know help out and start adding a donate a donation link to these videos you know even if it's a few bucks here and there if that helps that end goal then that would be awesome and it would be worth it regardless of how much gets donated um you know i'll, I'll start doing the same thing too is donating whatever i can uh, to the shelter um just to help out for the animals and for the awesome staff that's there there's a lot of awesome people that work there so you know it'd just be great overall just to see just to see some good good things happen uh for the animals and the staff so once again uh if you like the tutorial let me know in the comment section and if there's any other tutorials you want to see inside studio one or any other content i still plan on doing more podcasts more tutorials i want to do more mock scores for destiny like i did i have a few uh youtube videos of uh, on my channel of uh, me doing a mock musical score to my gameplay in destiny so i really like that and i i got some good feedback on that um so i hope to do more of those uh more podcasts and uh, more tutorials inside studio one so once again this is chris with master cdp studios stick around